SFA members, my name is Hannah King, your tour guide for today's trip around campus. Although convention may not look the same this year, we're excited to bring ABAC to you. Now saddle up and let's go. Moving away from home for the first time is a big change. Campus living at ABAC makes the big transition much easier. Here at ABAC Lakeside, we offer two and four person suite style living with a private bathroom, free laundry service, and programs designed for the first year student, ABAC Lakeside is sure to be your home away from home. We hope you brought your appetite. ABAC has the first Georgia grown dining hall in the state. Our produce is locally sourced and grown right here in Georgia. And you don't want to miss our famous fried chicken Thursdays here in the Donaldson Dining Hall. After you've cleaned your plate, it's time for some exercise. This is the Thrash Wellness Center. Whether it's our mini intramural sports, our state-of-the-art fitness equipment, or our heated pool, ABAC's dedicated to keeping you healthy and fit. And don't worry, there's no gym membership required. All you need is your ABAC ID. One of the first three original buildings on campus, Tift Hall is home to the history of our institution. Here you can learn about our namesake, Abraham Baldwin, as well as other important Georgians and alumni. When it comes to agriculture, it's in our name. ABAC offers plenty of degrees in the field. Whether you're interested in crop and soil sciences, livestock production, or horticulture, ABAC is sure to have a program tailored to your passion. ABAC's lab science facilities were built with practicality in mind. Opportunities such as mentored research and hands-on learning experience prepare our students for graduate and professional degree programs. Biology, chemistry, and anatomy labs such as this give our students a leg up in pursuing their goals. ABAC offers several extracurricular activities for our students to get involved. With over 70 clubs, organizations, and events on campus, our stallions are always engaged with our mission. From boarding your horse to attending rodeos and truck and tractor pools, these campus events set our college apart from all other colleges east of the Mississippi. You do not have to be from Georgia to enjoy in-state tuition here at ABAC. In-state tuition rates are available to all residents of Alabama, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Tennessee through the ABAC's Naver Waiver Program. That's right, ABAC's affordable tuition is now available to you. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. And visit us at abac.edu for more information. Become the next stallion to join our herd over 110 years in the making. Apply today. Hey everyone, I hope you all are enjoying the 2020 South Carolina FFA State Convention. I'm Macaulay Frierson and I have the privilege of working as the student recruiter for the College of Agriculture, Forestry and Life Sciences at Clemson University. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in and looking forward to sharing briefly just a little bit about our college and some of the opportunities um, that are offered to our students. I've got a short presentation that I'll share with you guys and then it'll have some contact information at the end. Um, feel free to take a picture of that with you know with your phone and send us any questions that you um, that you have. But um, as you all are probably aware uh, Clemson University is located um, in the upstate of South Carolina. Our main campus is about 1400 acres um, and with that there are Lots of opportunities for students to get engaged um, with hands-on learning uh, across almost 90 majors uh, that the university offers. So um, the Clemson is broken down into seven academic units. Um, so like I said, I specifically work in the College of Agriculture, Forestry and Life Sciences, but did wanna share this with you, um, that there are six other colleges on campus and they all have a recruiter as well and I'm happy to connect you with them if those are career fields that you're interested in. Um, but definitely gonna spend the majority of our time together uh, talking about our college. Um, we think we're the best college on campus. Um, we have 12 unique majors um, and they're listed on the screen for you. We kind of break those down into five groups. Our, 
agricultural sciences includes our agribusiness, agricultural education, and agricultural mechanization in business. Our largest major in the college is animal and veterinary sciences. And then we also have food science and human nutrition, as well as we offer a undergraduate degree in packaging science. Uh, Clemson University is one of just a handful of schools um, in the United States that offers this a program like this. So that is something that we're, um, we're very passionate about. A lot of great opportunities um, for students in those majors. Uh, we also have our three kind of environmental type majors. Uh, those are gonna be our environmental and natural resources, forest resource management, and wildlife and fisheries biology. Um, and then last but certainly not least um, is our plant and environmental sciences department which houses our horticulture major, plant environmental sciences, and turf grass. Uh, so 12, like I said, very unique majors. Um, all have tons of opportunities, both inside and outside the classroom to get hands-on experience. Clemson is lucky to have over 17,500 acres of experimental forest adjacent to campus, as well as over 4,000 acres of livestock research facilities um, for our students to get that your hands on experience. Um, additionally, we have facilities throughout the state um, from those of you from different parts of South Carolina, you've probably had the opportunity to drive by and hopefully visit some of those um, research and education centers throughout the state. Um, in addition to our on campus facilities, there are five um, in different soil and climate zones in South Carolina. And so those are all Access, you have access to all of those facilities as a student. Um, unfortunately, you know, we're having to engage virtually, but I would like to encourage all of you to follow us on social media. Uh, we push a lot of things out for students that are interested in our college um, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, I would say Instagram and Facebook are our main two platforms. You know, we realize that most of you guys are probably on Instagram instead of Facebook. Um, but your parents might be on Facebook. So we, we have that uh, out there for them as well. Um, any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email. Um, again, my email is up on the screen. So feel free to take your phone out, um, take a picture of that and let us know what we can do to help. We provide hands-on experience. And this is how the teachers learn, instructors learn, this is how students learn. We love the hands-on part of this. And this is a prime example of a student at Santee Coast Reserve doing the hands-on field data collection for research study through Clemson University. We're an associate's degree, two-year school, and we're the only school in South Carolina that offers this forestry degree. Our graduates generally go to work where they, they find their passion and where they get those field experiences. And a lot of our labs are associated with Department of Natural Resource Property like this one here. They also work for federal governments such as the U.S. Forest Service, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and in a myriad of private locations all up and down the coast of South Carolina. About 60% of our graduates work for private industry, so, so large landowners with a, that have a goal of forestry and wildlife management. My name is Haley Gibbons. Uh, I'm a student, a sophomore here at Ori Georgetown Technical College. I'm in the forestry and wildlife management program. So I joined this program because I love being outside. I love working with animals. Um, I love making a difference for wildlife, and I figured that this would be the best place to do it. This program is very, very hands-on. I've even heard from people who have gone straight out of high school to a university that they get much more hands-on experience going to Ori Georgetown Tech than they do just transferring to a university. So that's, that's a big bonus. Whenever I graduate, I'm leaning more towards ornithology, study of birds, um, but I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet. My main goal is to transfer to Clemson University for my master's degree. I'm an intern for Nemours Wildlife Plant Plantation or Foundation. Um, I also work for Clemson University for the Waterfowl Project. I'm, we're here at Santee Coastal to check duck boxes. This is duck box number three. You're gonna knock on it to alert anything that's in there. Usually they fly out by now, so there's probably nothing. We'll take a look. Looks like this one hasn't been used in a while. Now this is from an old nest, actually. 
These leaves and um, bald cypress is a sign of Carolina wren, but I've already removed this nest. Hello, my name is Dr. Sandy Maddox and I serve as the Dean of the School of Agriculture and Biological Sciences at the University of Mount Olive. I regret, as I'm sure each of you do, that we cannot be together at the South Carolina State FFA Convention this year. But we do appreciate the opportunity to share a little bit about our university and our agriculture and biological degree programs. The University of Mount Olive is located in eastern North Carolina. We're about an hour east of our state capital in Raleigh and we're within an hour's drive of some of the state's finest beaches. The university is also situated in the heart of the agricultural industry in the state. We have about a thousand traditional students that enjoy our beautiful campus and greater Mount Olive community. We are the only private faith-based university in the state that offers seven different bachelor of science degrees in the field of agriculture. These degrees include agricultural education, agribusiness, animal science, plant science, environmental and natural resources, outreach and extension education, and veterinary biosciences, or pre-vet. We also offer degrees in the biological sciences that include biology, biomedical science, biotechnology, and ecological and environmental sciences. One of the things that sets us apart from other universities offering similar degrees is that we focus on hands-on learning. We have three farms that we're developing to provide students the opportunity to learn while doing. Students have the chance to work with animals, plant and harvest agronomic and horticultural crops, utilize precision agricultural equipment, operate unmanned systems, monitor water quality, and even evaluate wildlife habitats, all on our educational field laboratories. We have a three-acre arboretum greenhouse facilities, and an agricultural mechanic shop that we use to prepare students for careers in all facets of the agricultural and biological sciences. We believe in taking the classroom to the field. Our students have been an integral part of planning and managing these farms and other facilities, and they're learning skills that they can carry with them long after graduation. While we focus on learning, we also focus on providing our students a chance to grow and develop networks through competitions, travel, and participation in conferences at the state and national level through multiple collegiate clubs. We have a very active Collegian FFA, a Farm Bureau Young Farmers and Ranchers Committee, an outstanding Animal Science Club, our National Trojan Wildlife Society chapter, and the Henderson Science Club, all of which are involved in community service and compete at the collegiate level with students from other universities and colleges across the state and nation. Our faculty are committed to student success and we all work hard to ensure when you graduate from the University of Mount Olive that your academic goals are met and you are gainfully employed in your desired field of study. In fact, 96% of our graduates are employed in their field of study within six months of graduation. We have continued to grow and develop our program since I came to the university in 2007. The key to this growth and expansion of our programs is that it is focused on you, the student. We love meeting and working with FFA members and enjoy the fresh perspective that comes with each new class. We look forward to welcoming our largest incoming freshman class ever this fall and can't wait to see how they're going to change this world. We hope that you'll take the opportunity to come see us on campus for AgFest or maybe a campus visit or just stop by if you're up our way. I want to thank you again for the opportunity to share this information about the University of Mount Olive and encourage you to contact me if you'd like to come visit and learn more about any of our programs. Please stay safe, stay well, and stay Trojan strong.
Richard Weber International. I'm so excited that you are able to join us today on our virtual tour. I'm so sad that you guys aren't able to be to campus right now, but I'm going to walk you through all of my favorite spots on campus. Come on, let's go. The first building we're going to start in is our Liberal Arts Building, also known as LA. This is where a lot of our administrative offices are, as well as all of your different Liberal Arts classes. One of the great things about St. Andrews is we're always working on new programs. One of our newest programs that we just added is our Bachelor's Degree in Occupational Therapy Assistant. We are one of six schools in the United States that have this program available. Here are some outlines of our new program, as well as what those resources will look like that you'll be able to use on campus, including the different labs. As well, we do study abroad trips for all of you guys who have that travel bug and can't wait to potentially go out and explore the world during your university experience. Currently, we are still planning on attending our Brutenberg um, trip in Italy this fall. Now we're at my home, which is admissions. Next, beside admissions, is our close friend's financial aid. This is where you're going to come to help get you awarded and get you packaged. If you've not had a chance to fill out FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid, definitely be sure to fill that out soon. Our school code is 001540. Now, like I said at the beginning, we are a branch of Weber International University, so our school code will actually come up as Weber International, but don't worry, we get that information straight to us. service office. This is where you can come for any of your IT needs. They can work with you to help fix your school email, your Moodle, and even if you're having some troubles with your laptop. Speaking of school email, did you know you get free Microsoft Publisher just with your SAU email? That means you get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all of those different types of programming systems just for having an SAU email account. On my right hand side here is our theater. We do spring musicals as well as fall productions. And then on my left hand side here, we have one of our many computer labs. One of the great things about having a computer lab at St. Andrews University is our printing and copying is free. That means you don't have to worry about buying a printer, ink, paper, anything like that. You're able to come into the computer lab and print off that 10 page paper before you have to turn it in. University is also known for its wide diversity. Over 20% of our student population on campus is from another country. We have over 28 different countries represented on St. Andrews campus. This includes Japan, Brazil, Australia, Canada, the UK, Argentina, anywhere that you can think of. But what's also awesome about our diversity is it's not just from around the world. In the United States alone, we have 35 different states represented. This ranges from California, Oregon, Texas, Arizona, Colorado, Ohio, New York, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, anywhere that you can think of. If you're not from North Carolina, be sure when you get here to stick your pin in where you're from. If you're a part of our Department of Natural and Life Science, this is going to be your new home. 
this is Morgan Jones Science Lab and we're able to fit 10 different labs in here at one time. One of the amazing things about this is that all of the furniture you see in here is movable. So you're able to set the labs up exactly how you need it to be as a student. We also have special ceiling tiles that allow us to reduce the sound as it goes from lab to lab so you don't get distracted by other classes that may be taking place. In this lab, we also have a wood shop lab, we have a dark room, we have a greenhouse, and we have our brand new health science simulation lab. Let's go check it out. This simulation lab is available especially for our new pre-licensure nursing program to use, but any of our health service administration labs are able to take place in here. We have seven mannequins that are controlled completely by a computer system. They're able to do every single bodily function, including blink, you can put uh, IVs in them, they can even go into cardiac arrest. We have computer speakers and sound systems that are able to allow you to see and rewatch what you're doing so that way you can make sure you're getting the best out of your education. We even have a mother that's able to give birth and a NICU setup. sizes at St. Andrews do vary. Some of your gen ed classes, which are the standard classes that every student is required to take, may be closer to 30 to 40 students. However, our student to teacher ratio is 14 to 1. What that means is as you dive deep into that depth of an education, we want to make sure that we're providing you that one on one so that you can be successful. A main reason why we do this is because we are a teaching institution. Obviously, we have a big lab, so that doesn't mean that research doesn't take place here. But from August to May, our professors' number one jobs are to teach you as students. 70 plus percent of our professors on campus have terminal degrees in their field. What this means is they've gone as far as they can go in their study and their education. So we want to make sure that they're providing that straight to you. At St. Andrews, we also have a large equestrian program. About a mile and a half down the road, we have a 300-acre riding center that has two different facilities able to ride in and can hold up to 100 horses within it. We have three different disciplines that you're able to ride. We have Western, Dressage, and Hunt Seat Program. hallway you'll find more of our administrative buildings. We have our business office that's available for students who want to do work study positions or have account balances after they go through financial aid as well as we have our career service and our registrar's office. If you want to drop or add a class be sure to talk to your academic advisor first but our registrar's office is where you would do this. As well we have our career and vocational center that's ran by Kat Evans. She helps students prepare for those next steps to be able to go out into the real world once they're done with college and get them a job. This includes helping you create a resume, doing mock interviews with local people from the community, and even taking you on career fairs. We also have Piper's Cafe, which is one of our two cafes on campus. This is available for students who may be running in between classes and can still use their meal swipes for breakfast and lunch. Behind Pipers, we have our president's office. One of the great things about being at St. Andrews is you really are part of a close, tight-knit community, and our president actually will know who you are and is located in the same building that you have some of your classes in. for you to use as well. 
We have tons of different tutoring options that are all free for you as a student. Some take place on the residential side of campus in our Academic Center for Success, but in the library, we have what we call our Writing Center. It's on the third floor of the library and is available to any student who might need help editing a paper, kind of figuring out where to go with their next steps to help shape that maybe B or C paper and turn it into an A plus paper. We also have our archive room. Our archive room is available for students to find out all of the history about St. Andrews University. To give you a quick snippet, uh, St. Andrews actually started in 1896 with Floor McDonald College. Uh, in the 1950s, Floor McDonald actually joined with Presbyterian Junior College for Men to create St. Andrews Presbyterian College. Then in 2011, St. Andrews Presbyterian College joined with Weber International University to create what is now St. Andrews University. I want to give you guys a sneak peek view at our newly renovated building, Bardell. Come on. Do apologize for a little bit of the mess. This is where you're gonna find a lot of your professor's offices. And so they're still kind of moving in. So that's why you see some chairs out and about. But this building, not only does it have a beautiful lounge area that you can sit in with friends and relax in between classes, but this is where you're gonna find your choir classes taking places, other ones of your liberal arts classes will be taking place in here. And we have a brand new eSports lab for you game art and design majors and you eSports athletes. All of this equipment in here is brand new and it's just for you as a student. This is a great example about how St. Andrews is investing in your education and giving you the best of the best to be successful. Welcome to my dorm. I'm currently in Wilmington, which is our female freshman dorm. This is what they look like. Great amount of space, tons of leg rooms. Every room comes with two beds, two desks, and tons of closet space. You have drawers and you have this open closet space so you can fit all of your clothes, plus a station where you can put your TV or your makeup, anything you want. You're also allowed to keep a fridge in your room as well. We do allow you to paint or put whatever you want on the walls. You can tell in this room, the person put some wallpaper up. And if it looks awesome like this does, we let you keep it. We do have free laundry services that are available for you guys on the bottom level of every single dorm. You don't have to pay to wash your clothes, but no one folds them for you. Your mom's not here, so make sure you actually fold your laundry. What's also great about our resident hall is we even have a lobby area available for you guys. So you can come, hang out with your friends, sit on the couch, even make some dinner. We provide a microwave in every single lobby for you guys.
is our school bookstore. This is not only where you can come and get all your Saint Andrew swagger, but you also get free textbooks. Yes, I said that right, free textbooks. Being a St. Andrews student, we want you to be as strong in your academics as possible, and we don't want something like paying for a $500 access code to hurt your chances of being successful in the class. So we provide your textbooks for you. All you do is you just go ahead and print off your schedule and bring it in here, and the bookstore actually gives you your textbooks. At the end of the semester, you just return them. No need in trying to sell old textbooks back or anything like that. You can just return the textbooks you don't want. Also located in this building is our Office of Student Affairs. This is where you can come to join one of our 20 plus organizations or clubs on campus. If there's a club that we don't have on campus that you want to start, don't worry about it. Just find four other students who want to do that club with you and a faculty advisor and go see our Director of Student Activities, Jordan McClellan. She'll help you start that club on campus. This is also where if you have any questions about student housing or student resident life, you can come see our Director of Housing and Resident Life on campus, Mary Cross, and she can help sort you through that. And finally in this building, we have our dining hall. Our dining services give you 23 meals a week. Now, I'm no mathematician, but I know seven times three is 21. So how are we giving you 23 meals a week? Well, if you're like me and you get hungry at night, from nine to 10 o'clock, we offer you a late night meal Monday through Thursday. Then on Friday, you get your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And on Saturday and Sunday, we give you a brunch and a dinner. The reason why we give you that brunch is because are you really going to wake up at 8 a.m. to go eat breakfast if you can sleep in? Everything here is buffet style. So if there's something you like, please help yourself and get more. But if there's something that you're not sure if you want, it's okay. Just throw it away and find something different. We have tons of seating in St. Andrew's Dining Hall. Not only in the main stage where the buffet is set up, but also we have this huge room here where students are able to sit. And we have an outdoor patio that looks out onto the lake that students are able to enjoy on nice days. Attached to our PD Center is our security office. We do have security that runs 24-7, 365 days a year. It doesn't matter if it's Christmas or if there's a hurricane, they are not leaving campus until we know that every single student is safe. Another great thing about security is they're able to help you get into your room. They monitor the campus and do rounds on campus to make sure that everything is running smoothly, even in the middle of the night. If you want to bring a car on campus, it is free for you to do so. Doesn't matter if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, you can bring your car on campus. All we ask is that you go ahead and fill out that vehicle registration form on our website, and then you'll go to security during check-in and pick up your tag so that we know you are an SAU student. Center is our fitness center as well as our training room. We have five athletic trainers on hand and they're able to do um, massage therapy with you, they're able to do rehab with you, icing, heating, we have cupping that we can do with you guys, we have ultrasound, STEM, game readies, everything that you guys will need. These athletic trainers will be assigned specifically to your sport and travel with you not only for away games but also be on hand on home games to help you. On this side, we have our fitness center. This is available for you to be able to do free weights, machine weights, cardio, bench, anything that you need. We have a huge space behind me so that you can do cardio and all of those different types of things, as well as walking lunges, squat jumps, anything that you could need. Um, this is available for athletic teams to use. Your coach will sign up specific times, but then there are specific times that it is available for any students as well as faculty and staff. Welcome to Harris Court, home of the night. In our PE Center, we have two different gym facilities, Harris Court, which is our main court, as well as the second court that's used 
used for practice facilities, um, we use for cheer, dance, wrestling, all of those different types of sports. We are part of the NAIA, um, and there are 27 different NAIA collegiate teams here at St. Andrews. Everything ranging from men's and women's volleyball, men's and women's basketball, football, softball, baseball, men's and women's soccer, men's and women's golf. We even have an Olympic-sized swimming pool in this building that our swim team uses. As well in Harris Court, it's available for students to come and support their fellow student athletes. All games are free for students to be able to come and watch. In our PE Center, we also use our sports performance health and fitness classes, and we have a sports performance health and fitness lab that's available. PE classes, some riding classes, and some other sports management classes take place in this building. Well, Night Station, that's all that I got for you. Thank you for taking